fun. Our next challenger is Devin. So here's what Devin said about accepting this challenge. I'm accepting this burger challenge for my dad. My dad and I have traveled all over the world together eating. We've eaten in India and in Guyana, all across Europe, Hawaii. So fortunate to have been able to spend all those incredible food memories with him. My mother's a vegetarian also, so my dad is really the only person in my family I can enjoy this burger with. Dad, I'm accepting this challenge for you. Oh, that's so sweet, and I know he'll be watching. Now, I'm sure you and your dad have had some pretty amazing meals together. I can just imagine. Let's add this burger dev to that list. What are you making, and where do you start? Okay, thank you for that warm introduction. And, and uh, I remember when I filmed that, I was getting a little bit emotional because my dad and I have traveled a lot of places in the world, mm -hmm. and food is one of those things that brings everybody to the table. So this Father's Day, let's do something real special. We're doing a baby back rib, mac and cheese, <gasps> purple coleslaw, hamburger. Let's yeah. start with the burger. Here I have a patty and uh, for your viewers at home, if you're watching, you're listening, you're browsing, I want you to know that we're all using 80-20. And what does that mean? We have 20% fat in here. That is a good amount of fat. Any more, it probably just flare up in the barbecue, but this will give us a good flavor. So what I'm going to do is salt and pepper on my patty. And as Randy mentioned, we want a nice large patty because the cardinal sin of making a burger is that patty being smaller than the bun. So as you can see, I already have one down. A few things going over here. So if you see me dancing, it's because uh, I have a lot of stuff going. So I'm going to turn that off the heat. Let's make a quick purple coleslaw. So I'm going to slice this down. We want to work methodically here. So I have my buns toasted off. I have my coleslaw over here. I'm going to grab a trusty spoon. And to this, we're going to add in some mayonnaise. Little whole grain Dijon into the party. Let's go. Dill from the garden. Doesn't get any fresher. If you see, I'm, uh, if you see behind me, I am in a jungle. So there's lots of fresh herbs everywhere. Dill goes in here. Salt's going to start breaking this down. A wee bit of black pepper. And here we mix this around. Very quick coleslaw. Set this aside. Tracy, I'm missing one ingredient. I just added it. What is it? I don't know. Oil. Exactly. Acidity. We're going with apple cider vinegar, okay? This gets put <laughs> off to the side of the and now, and now what I want to do, I have uh, this cheese sauce. This board can handle the heat. What we have here is a bechamel. Bechamel, one of the mother sauces. This is equal parts flour and butter and then milk. There's also nutmeg, salt and pepper in here. I'm coming in with a lot of cool ingredients. Let's come in with our cheese. So mozzarella is going to go into the party. We're going to add in an unhealthy amount of Parmesan. Next, we're going to come in with aged cheddar. So if you want to use orange and make it more of a classic, we can, but this time I won't. Hot sauce, homemade, fermented, weary weary, big ups Guyana, into the pot, let's go. Sweetie drops from Peru. They're like a cross between a grape tomato and a jalapeno. Some people say jalapeno, up to you, into the party. <laughs> all so, the accents today, everything. Dev, all the accents. <laughs> Todo bien. That goes in. Dijon, let's go in with a bit of raw garlic. Big flavors going on. A squeeze of lemon juice. Oh man, this is, this is happening. All these smells are coming. Then I'm gonna go in with a type of uh, pasta over here. It's very rare. It's not used often. It's called macaroni, boom. Next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add in a nice cup of these pulled ribs into the party. This is just a giant pool of love. Oh, missed a little bit, that's okay. So the ribs go in, bada bing. Bada boom, I'm gonna move this over here. And now what we do is fold this together. And remember, my bechamel was a little bit loose because of all these ingredients I'm adding into it. That's what we want. All that's left to do is assemble, move this out of here. What I'm gonna do is take my bun. What is it? Is it a brioche over, as well, actually. like the other two chefs? Brioche, c'est ça. The reason why I'm doing brioche, uh, I think Randy touched on it, and Trev knows what's up, obviously, but uh, butter. Okay, butter, yeah. butter, butter. I'm not adding any mayo or any additional fat because we have, you know, 10% of your daily recommended fat in this mac and cheese. 80%. Okay, so we're <laughs> gonna drop in the coleslaw right on the bottom. Look how pretty that looks. I'm gonna go and hand bomb a burger. Boom, see how that burger fits? Beauty. And now, now la pièce de résistance. This Boy. is one if your dad doesn't like you, he'll like you after this one. So I'm going to take a nice spoonful like this of the mac and cheese, uh -huh. and I'm going to place this on top of the burger. Boom! Let's go! Beauty. Happy Father's Day. Look at this bad boy. Spin this around, and this is our baby back rib mac and cheese, our 
cornucopia of flavors, mac and cheese is in there, purple coleslaw, brioche bun. Man, I'm drooling. This is, a, this is a winner right here. How's I am drooling. It looks amazing. All of them look amazing. So many things you did with that mac and cheese. I didn't know you were putting the ribs in the mac and cheese. I didn't know it was going to be that kind of party. There's a party going on over there. Uh, 